Welcome to this screencast, PHP templating using Smarty. Smarty is one of the most popular PHP templating solutions around. And templating basically enables us to separate the business logic from the presentation logic, which is very much desired. Without wasting much time, let's quickly jump into action. Now, we are going to start from ground zero, where we create a site and add all the required um, libraries, and then we basically preview our project to see the outcome let's quickly create a site and call it smarty demo right we are within the HC docs which by default all our site definition should be there so let's quickly create our site and call it smarty smarty demo right now in the I would quickly want us to create a folder lib all libraries that we are going to use in this project will be placed in this folder including smarty itself now at this stage we can quickly preview our project and see what we have so now pointing your brother to localhost slash smarty demo that's the name of our site this is what we see now at this stage we need to grab a copy of smarty from smarty.net which i have already done and then it's located in my downloads folder so basically this is what you have let's extract it okay that's cool now the only folder right or the set of files that we need for smarty to work happens to be within this libs folder right so we can quickly get rid of all the other unnecessary things so let's quickly delete all of them yeah so right now we have our smarty folder which contains our libs folder right let's copy this folder and dump it in the lib as i explained earlier on all libraries to be used in a project should be here right so let's paste it here right um we can get rid of the version numbers at the end yeah so to understand the folder structure we have now let's quickly preview it in our browser right we have a lib inside the lib you have the smarty inside the smarty we have the libs so far so good we have smarty where we need it to be now let's get back to our sites right smarty demands that we have four extra folders which it needs to work properly let's quickly create those folders not in any particular order though let's create the first one cache All right the other one happens to be config where configuration files for smarty will be placed the last but not the list happens to be the templates folder all our templates definition will be placed in that folder And the last one happens to be templates underscore C. The compiled versions of all the files, all our templates within the templates folder, will be placed in this folder or directory templates underscore C. Now, let's quickly move to our IDE to have a feel of how the project is looking at right now by looking at the folder structure, right? So basically, this is the root of our folder, Smarty Demo. These, these are the four files we created, the cache, the config, the templates, and then the templates underscore C. And this is the library folder we talked about. So inside the library, we have our Smarty, and then under the Smarty, we have the required libraries for Smarty to work, right? Now, at this stage, one thing we basically need to do, we are going to um, subclass the Smarty itself so that we set some of the um, required properties, right? Such as the opening and then the closing tags, and then the four required um, libraries, folders, right? So let's create a custom version of Smarty and call it custom Smarty
so this is our customized version of smarty which we are calling custom smarty right now the required smarty directory constant right basically points to the folder which contains the four required for um directories needed by smarty and here all you basically need to do is to tell it which folder is reduced for the templates the compile the config and then the cache right and here if you're interested in using the JSP tagging style you can decide to uncomment this part and then set the left delimiter and then the right delimiter to use this instead of the default symbols which are here quickly preview it once again from the top all the way down yeah we are done at this stage we can start creating our template files which are basically normal files with placeholders to be replaced in our quotes and then those files are supposed to be within the templates folder so let's quickly dump our templates there let's call this one um index.tpl by default the extension is supposed to be tpl right but you could use anything of your choice let's change it and make it xhtml So this is the content of our templates. Let's change the title and call it Smarty Demo. Let's review the content of this file. It's just a normal HTML file. And this happens to be the placeholders, right? Where you have the opening and then the closing tags, and then you have the dollar sign and then the variable names is there. Now here, what it means is whatever is contained within this variable, we should when displacing it. When displaying it, we should use the upper lettering throughout. And as you could see here, want to use make use of checkboxes here. The HTML option for the select here it should render the dates for us. It should render the render the um, time selection control for us. Here we have a form and want to display these items in there. And down here is just a normal table thing where we place actual values in there. And here we have another formatting with some default modifiers added to it now if we decide to look at the HTML the UI presentation of the course right this this is how it looks like nothing so extraordinary right let's save our file and right now we need to define the file to basically play uh, replace the placeholders with actual values right so let's quickly do that now let's call the file index.php index.php right and then let's put this content in there now from the top we just included our customized smarty class right we we defined um a sample class we just want to use for demonstration having three attributes and then the constructor to set the properties and then here we have our uh, variable which is an array right which we basically use to display contents of our table actually this could be coming from a query you generate to pick data from a database or a web service or something like that here we have another array we basically want to use to fill our um, combo boxes and then our check boxes our collection of check boxes now the most important thing is this part right here you need to create an example we need to create an instance of our smart our custom version of smarty right and then we we'll basically i will just explain what the debugging thing here means now all you basically need to do is to substitute the variables within our templates with the actual values right now here we have msg and then we say the value should be this if you look at our templates we have msg so what it means is the value of this msg will be replaced with whatever we have in, in here and then the rest is the same now the last thing you do is to display the template itself right and then so display and then pass it the name of the template file now in our case it's index.xhtml right let's save it and preview point our uh, browser's url to our website yeah voila and this is what we have nice here we have the msg and then down here we also have the msg but then we added a modifier that is to use uppercase lettering throughout here we have a combo box which has been selected for us and then the rest 
is what you have there and then you know the variables pass to your template you just go to the end and type smarty debug right and then you get this file 